Hello, today is Thursday, uh, August the 20th of 2020. I wanted to give you a quick update on my YouTube channel and um, I uh, want to focus specifically on playlists. You know, I'm a real new uh, YouTuber. I, I, you know, I've only had this channel for a little over two months now, and I'm still learning an awful lot about the process, about the technical aspects of it. Uh, but I have discovered that, um, that playlists are a good way to group uh, videos together where people who are interested in a particular topic can watch those videos back to back. If you, but I once I discovered that I could go to a channel I like, uh, look at their look at what p playlists they have. If they have play, not all channels uh, have playlists, but with playlists, like I say, you can look for a specific topic that you're interested in and, and watch just those videos. And so I've created uh, some playlists. One, two, three, four, five. I've got currently. As of today, I have five playlists on my channel, and uh, that way if you are come to the channel for a specific reason, like diabetes or whatever, you can focus on those, um, on those videos. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Let me run through the playlist that I have so far. I have one, the newest playlist I put up is called Diabetic Resources. And those are not my videos. Those will actually, there's only four, there are only four videos in that playlist currently. Now, if you're watching this a year from now, there may be two dozen in that playlist, but those are not my videos. Those are videos, those, if you click on those, it'll take you to other channels, uh, but they're videos that I think are, are extremely helpful. And by clicking on those in my channel, uh, you can watch those four videos back to back without hopping from, you know, without uh, having to go searching for them on four different channels. They're actually on three different channels. Uh, two of the videos are on one channel and then the other two are on separate channels. Uh, the first one is a video of Dr. Eric Westman, uh, an MD at, from Duke University, and he talks about how to do the keto diet. He doesn't, it, it was filmed several years ago, and he doesn't call it the keto diet. He calls it a, a low carb diet, a low carb, high fat diet, something to that effect. But he goes through, just marches you right through the process of what you should and shouldn't be eating. He's, uh, He's in a room with a bunch of patients that he's about to start on that. He's got his white coat on. He's sitting at a desk or a table and, and just giving them real good detailed information about what they should and shouldn't be eating. So if you're a diabetic and um, trying to do keto for uh, your diabetes, that would be an excellent. The, the four videos in that series would be good to watch. And again, by clicking on that playlist, you could watch those four back to back. The second one, the second video in that playlist is Dr. Jason Fung uh, talking about helping people uh, reverse diabetes uh, with a combination of intermittent fasting and keto. So that's a very good one to watch too. Those two alone would be just excellent, excellent information for somebody starting a journey like I went through personally. Um, the next two videos are from the channel Beat Diabetes. Um, Dennis Pollock, uh, who runs that Beat Diabetes YouTube channel, interviewed me, and that full video is on there. And then after that, he interviewed my wife, and um, I've put both of those videos in that playlist. Again, when you go to watch them, it'll take you to his channel and to the other two channels. So it's three different channels, but by clicking on it in the in a playlist, you can watch them all four back to back. And I think it would give you a, a lot of good information um, in a fairly short period of time uh, by watching them all back to back and not having to search them all out individually. Okay, my next playlist is my biggest one, and it's called Intermittent Fasting, Keto, and Improved Health. And that's where the majority of my videos are. I have 44 videos in that. So if you're really, really 
interested in my story, but wanting to focus on um, the intermittent fasting and the keto and, you know, how to the improvements that that made in my health and, and possibly could in yours. You could watch all 44 of those videos if you were, you know, had the time or uh, you could split it up into different one, different sittings, I guess. But all of them are less than 50. All 44 of those are less than 15 minutes. So uh, it wouldn't take all that long to watch all of them. But um, and then the next uh, playlist is called Diabetic Eye Issues. And I have six videos in there. And those are specifically focused on eye problems. Um, so for those who are interested in those specific, those same six videos are in that larger playlist of 44 that I just mentioned before. Um, but I, I pulled those six out and put them in a separate, uh, playlist for those who might be interested specifically in eye problems, um, that diabetics, uh, should be aware of <clears throat> the, uh, the next playlist, uh, is called Reduce Stress. When I first put this up, I had it just labeled Travel because it had, the. there's 12 videos in that um, series, in that playlist, and they're all of these little day trips that my wife and I like to take. But the reason we take them is to reduce stress, which uh, if you watch my other videos, you know that I believe is very important for, for a diabetic to do because... Uh, increased stress levels can can make it harder to regulate your blood sugar. And I think it's it's very healthy to do things uh, like these little day trips. And if you like those uh, uh, those little videos, you could watch those back to back. I've got one that's just a picture of us out at a lake watching the sunset and then various little day trips. Se several of those little day trips uh, were taken before I ever had a YouTube channel. And they were just photographs that I've compiled together into a, um, you know, into a little video. But there is kind of like a slideshow moving from one photograph to the next. And they were done. Some of those were done about a year ago. Uh, but, you know, if you if you like those particular videos, you could watch all 12 of them back to back on that playlist called Reduce, which I now call Reduce Stress and previously had called Travel. But um I think reduced stress may be a better better name for it. Makes it fit together with the rest of the channel. And then my last playlist is called Retirement Options. And I honestly haven't done anything with it. There's four videos in there, but the four videos that are in there are <clears throat> from the reduced stress um, playlist. It's four out of the 12, and it's four... Uh, little day trips we took that, um, you know, that were places that we found interesting enough to maybe put them on, start putting them on a list of places that we, we might want to retire. You know, we've considered uh, that option of retiring in a smaller town. And um, uh, so those four videos that are on there will show you some of the little day trips we took to places that could be an option. We haven't, you know, made any, I'm not ready to retire yet. There's still a lot of things I want to do with my profession, but, um, you know, it's kind of fun to, to start looking ahead at that. And I want to do more with that retirement options, uh, playlist. And really I'm interested in getting feedback from, uh, from subscribers and other viewers who are already retired or are, are or kind of at the same level we're at of making plans in that direction because I'd love to hear your feedback. You know, there, there's only so much I can discover on my own, um, but I've found, you know, with the other videos I have that it's really helpful to get feedback from from other people. I learn a lot uh, from your feedback. So uh, while there's not much in that retirement playlist yet, other than those four places that interested us uh, here in Texas. Um, you know, I'd love to get your feedback uh, on, uh, as I start putting more into that playlist, I'd love to get your feedback on uh, what you've done for retirement. You know, have you moved from a cold state up north to the southwest somewhere like Arizona? Um, 
or to New Mexico or to Texas or someplace like that. We're already in Texas and, and uh, looking at places in Texas. But at any rate, um, you know, the, I just wanted to emphasize those playlists to start making use of those if you want to focus on a, a particular topic on my channel. Um, and also, if you want to ignore certain topics, uh, you, by picking one of the playlists, you can focus in more on the kind of things that you're interested in. And, uh, you know, I'd considered in a previous channel update video, I considered making a separate channel for uh, these other areas I was interested in, like day trip, the little day trips that we take and retirement options and all. Uh, but 100% of the feedback that I got from people said, just keep it all on one channel. So I'm keeping it all on one channel. But I'm breaking it up into different playlists so that if you have, you know, a specific interest, you can focus in on that, that playlist. And um, a great new subscriber mentioned today that, uh, that he liked some of the things I had to say. I think in my low-cost uh, diabetes control video, he liked it. But that he would rec his only difference is he would recommend getting a higher cost uh, blood glucose meter. And I, I totally agree that that's the optimal thing to do. It's probably going to be more accurate, a, a higher priced, um, glucose meter. Uh, you know, I would love to get a, I still haven't gotten one of the continuous, uh, glucose monitors. I would love to get one of those. I haven't done it yet. I still just stick myself every time I want to know what my blood sugar is. But, um, but I, I, hear, I get a lot of feedback from people who are on a limited income, like who are retired and living off their Social Security or, you know, a, a small retirement, that, that, that they would love to test after every meal like I recommend. And also uh, Dennis Pollock from the Beat Diabetes channel, he's very big on that, that that's a very powerful tool, and I agree. But they say, I would love to do that, but I can't afford it. The test strips are too expensive. So that's why I recommended in that low cost uh, uh, video that you could pick up a, a, a very inexpensive glucose meter at Walmart, uh, the Rely On brand to get their test strips. And it may not be as accurate as um, some of the higher, more expensive uh, glucose meters, but it will show you spikes. Like it may be 10 points off, like maybe your blood sugar spikes to uh, 185 in reality, but that less expensive meter shows 195 or 175. At least you still know that you had a spike from eating bananas. Right? So that's the, that's the whole thing is if you can't afford to do it the best way possible, do it whatever way you can afford. And you'll still see the patterns of, you know, you eat bacon and eggs, and your blood sugar hardly spikes at all. You eat, um, you know, cereal uh, with bananas cut up, up on it and your blood sugar spikes up to 185. It really doesn't matter whether it was truly 195 or truly 175. You can see that it spiked. You can see what your blood sugar was before you ate and after you, an hour or so after you ate. And that's very valuable information regardless of whether they the meter is 100% accurate. And I, in my opinion, when I first started, I was using three different meters and, and comparing them off of one. I would stick my finger once and then quickly test with three different meters. And they never agreed exactly. There was always, and they range from inexpensive to medium expense to the most expensive one. And they never agreed completely. And then I, I narrowed it down to two that I thought were the most accurate and only used two meters then for a while. And then uh, now have narrowed it down to one, but none of them are perfect. None of them are absolutely perfect, but you do get that, that pattern of, of what foods spike your glucose. And that's very powerful. So I'll stop for today and say, live healthy, finish strong. Thank you.